Welcome everyone to another night review. Today we have the 2022 Mercedes S-Class. And in this night video, we're gonna take a look at these really sweet ambient lights on the inside, LED lights on the outside, and take it for a test drive. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. All right, y'all, let's start out on the exterior. Now, I apologize if you have some wind noise, but if this is your first night review, be sure to check out some others in the description below and a full daytime review of this S-Class coming out soon. So we're gonna have full LED headlights all around, LED taillights as well. The, ambient, or the uh, daytime running light are the little sections right next to each headlight and this angular piece running around. There's a lot of chrome on this front end, definitely very classy. You're gonna get an LED blinker, of course, marker light over here. And this is the IntelliBeam or the Intelligent Beam. So you've got adaptive and cornering lights and they do an awesome job. Now this paint color is called Diamond White and it just sparkles and it looks great on this car, especially for a big luxury sedan. You see the blinker in the mirror, optional 20 inch wheels and some gentle chrome pieces on the side here too. Rounding out the back, we're still gonna get LED taillights, LED blinkers, and these are actually amber colored instead of an all red design. And what do you think? I like the way they look. It's still classy, nothing too flashy though. And LED license plate lights. And let's take a look at the rear fog lights, brake lights, and reverse lights. And then in the trunk, let's just take a super quick look, see what you're dealing with here. So as we look back here, you're gonna see you've got a couple of LED lights. So you've got two high mounted LED lights to light up this trunk about 13 cubic feet. The high lights actually help to be able to see what's in the trunk. Take a look at this though. Up here, you've even got some lights right up under the deck lid to help shine down too. So, I mean, this is a very well illuminated trunk. Plus you've got a couple of buttons to push to lock it and shut it. In the back seat, I'll show you the door handles lighting up, but you've got ambient lighting galore in here. I've got it turned up. I've got it on a blue color, ambient lighting everywhere, leather materials everywhere. We don't have the executive package or the executive line where you get a reclining back seat and massage functions and big screens and all that stuff. But there's a couple charging ports down there in the armrest. It's just a nice place to be no matter what section of the car you're sitting in. Now watch this, as you approach the S-Class, the door handles are going to light up and illuminate and pop out. Really nice door handles, look good. Even on this base S-Class, looks very, very nice. You also get the Mercedes emblem on the ground, really large, looks nice. And as soon as you open the door, you get the illuminated sill plates and it kind of brightens for a sec and then dims. Now push button start is right over here. I'm gonna show you where all the buttons are and the illumination, just how well everything is and how it looks. You get some graphics in here too. It just makes this cabin look and feel really cool and really premium. I'll talk about the ambient lights in just a second, but every button and switch is illuminated from the locks to the memory settings, heating and ventilation, mirror controls, all of that. And there's just lighting literally everywhere, even in the door pocket, down in my legs. I mean, there's light strips like every single spot that they could possibly think of putting it. White backlighting for the buttons on the steering wheel too. This display is standard, looks similar to some other Mercedes displays, especially in its classic mode. You can control everything with the steering wheel. You can even control this main display with the steering wheel too. It's an OLED screen. You even have lights for your vents. These three little lights indicate how much airflow is coming through there and your stop start button is illuminated this display is also crystal clear it looks very nice on here as well this has wireless apple carplay and android auto looks great on here as well your climate controls are down here integrated into the screen and then you've got some lighting for these actual physical controls and touch slider controls down here there's a little storage area behind the screen that even has a little bit of lighting too so to mess with some of this stuff, go to settings, and then we can go to light right away and you can adjust whether you have the dynamic beams, daytime running lights, adjust some interior lighting stuff, and then go to your ambient lighting settings here, which I'll show you in a second. But for the display, you go to system, go to displays, and then you can do the display brightness. Now this big display over here has been kind of bright for me, so I've got it turned down. And same thing with the other one. I wish that there were some actual knobs or switches to quickly and easily control that without digging in the screen, but it works to be able to dig in here and still do that. This Mercedes has 64 color ambient lighting 
standard on here. It's literally everywhere. I mean, all around us. And let me go through that. All right, now let me go through some of these colors and change things up and brightness. So it's on high brightness now. I'm gonna drop it down. You can go to zero. There's one somewhere in the middle. You can make it however you want. I like that. Just the brightness, the colors. So there's multicolor and there's monochrome. So here's monochrome and you can change that across a huge color spectrum and you can basically completely customize it to meet whatever it is that you want. It's really cool. Or the multicolor, like I had it and there's different multicolor variations you can do from like a pinkish purple and blue to like just different colors to have different tones. You can even have it go through an animation so it kind of gradually starts to change between different colors or not. It's just a really cool, really nice and fun setup. Just down from there, we've got a wireless charging mat with some lighting, USB charging port, two USB charging ports there as well. Right inside here, you've got just a very gentle little glow, nothing super well illuminated. Let me turn the overhead light on so you can kind of see that. And it's a pretty good size area, but a couple of USB charging ports. And then watch this. This has lights from there and from the mirror. And if I just reach over there, it lights up. There's a little light for that. Literally, if you just like look over there, it's gonna light up. I mean, it senses it. It's kind of annoying, honestly, but if you have to look over and reach for grab something, it will light up for you. All of that comes from right up overhead with some more controls. You've got all LED lighting, turn everything on. It turns on both beams right here. Plus we have reading lights right up under the mirror for both sides. I think that's a pretty cool little feature so that they're not quite as bright as overhead lights. Also gonna have uh, an illuminated vanity mirror and light. And as you saw, don't forget the back seat still gets all the goods with the ambient light too. Now this is no joke, probably my favorite car at night that I have driven both interior and exterior. It's just another experience, it's on another level. It's, it's really cool. Okay, now as we turn on these lights, take a look at this. Now that is a pretty cool show right there when everything turns on. So these are the LED low beams. These are adaptive as well, which I'll show you once we get out on the road. But look just how strong this beam pattern is all the way across. You don't have any significant dips or fades until we get way out to the side. So these are really nice and wide. High beams also nice and wide. These are even marketed as ultra wide high beams. Wait till we get out on the road though. So you can see kind of the end of our light right over here, when I turn the blinker on, it lights up this whole area so well. So not only do you have adaptive lights that actually move, you get cornering lights that literally go way out there. I mean, it goes really far out there, up onto that hill. So you got serious width on these lights. Now, as we line these lights up with more distance, I always like to line up on this hill and both the driver and passenger side are up on the hill, a little bit less on that side, but they still have good overall width. I mean, you can see we light up this whole entire parking lot really well. And we get the high beams very nice and bright and wide up there. I can't wait to get these out on the road. These obviously don't specifically have IIHS ratings. Very specialized vehicles like this usually don't, but I'm gonna guess that these do really well. All right, y'all, we're behind the wheel of this S-Class. And in this video, I want you to get an idea of what it's like to be the one behind the wheel driving this, see just how well these lights do, and apparently this thing's I want my light on. These have like sensors to know if you want lights on. Like I just showed you a little bit ago, watch. If I reach over there, it's gonna turn that light on. I didn't touch it. It's pretty crazy. It's kind of cool how it does that, but it also can be kind of annoying too. But that's what you get with luxury here. Anyways. We're gonna get on some dark roads, some lighter roads, go around some corners, see how well these lights do, the automatic high beams, the adaptive function. And I tell you what, the cornering lights on here are just sensational. They're so wide. When the high beams turn on, they get this nice crescendoed effect. You don't see that when you're sitting still, but when you have the automatic high beams on, it's like, boom, a bunch of different crystals of lights just show up. But first of all, uh, we got a V8 by Turbo. And this is the smoothest powertrain I've probably ever driven. I mean, this 9-speed and this V8 are something else. This air suspension is 
fantastic as well. There's just so much to like about it. But that's not what this is about. Be sure to check out the full daytime review if you want to see more about that. Quick note is we've got an automatic dimming rear view mirror as you would expect, as well as an automatic dimming side mirror here. Automatic dimming mirrors are always really nice to have. Now I have the automatic high beams on. I'm curious to see if the high beams will actually turn on while we're driving with some light up here, and so far they're not. There's an oncoming car, maybe they'll turn on after that. And no, they're still off, but there's another oncoming car. The ambiance in here is fantastic. I absolutely love this ambient lighting. Of course, you can change the brightness, the colors, turn it off if you want. I wish you could control the brightness of these screens with the real buttons or something, but you have to dig into the screen menus to do that, because I like to change it up. If I'm in, a, in the city, I don't mind it a little brighter. If I'm out in the darker areas, I want it darker. So I actually do change that a little bit, something to keep in mind. But now before we get on a dark road, a quick note about this S-Class and just all my night videos is that I'm located in the US. Currently, as of right now, we're a little bit restricted as far as the lighting technologies that we get, like some of the adaptive high beam type of lights where you can get high beams, but like part of that dims out to it so it doesn't blind oncoming drivers we don't get that kind of stuff in the u.s yet we just get the full on off high beams so that's what we have here but these high beams are extremely impressive so let me turn these on did you see that crescendoed effect of the high beams there definitely pretty cool now i'm gonna turn the low beams on and i can see extremely well into that corner sometimes i can't see into the corner at all until i'm like right on it the high beams just crescendoed back on and going around this corner is just fantastic let me turn just the low beams on sorry messed up a little bit there now it's just the low beams I'm gonna see how the distance is how well they look I can see the markers way up there low beams are doing really good high beams oh that is so cool so wide so bright I'm gonna keep the low beams on for this turn to see how well the adaptive function works. I mean, it's so bright, so wide, you can't hardly even tell if anything's moving because it is super bright. Now I turn the high beams on to see if they go on after this car passes. So far, it's still the low beams actually. Surprisingly, maybe because of this light. We'll watch them turn the high beams on now. High beams, not turning on surprisingly. Okay, they were on automatic. Okay, now they're back on. And the high beams are just phenomenal. I mean, they're so wide. I'm gonna turn them back off. And the width, like I said, the beam pattern on these lights is so good that the width is just carried straight out into the ditch. I and mean, these are probably some of the best, if not the best headlights I have tested, at least in a little while. And then as we turn our blinker on and start to turn, we get so much light off into that corner. It's amazing. Now, there's nothing going on on the sides here. I'm not going to be turning, but watch. Now, let's just look. Let's look over there. So watch. Turn the blinker on. Lights that area up. Super nice. You'll be able to see that a little bit more in a second. Turn the high beams on. Nice crescendoed effect again. Just excellent wide and it's really cool looking too and it just boom 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 turns on those high beams now i got just the low beams on turning over here cornering light is on i can see so well over there a lot of cars i take out here i can't see squat and this is also a really good test so i can actually see the corner in this road most vehicles i can't at all because the beam pattern drops down so much in fact, if I turn just the regular high beams on, you can see that. I'm going to turn the automatic high beams on. And if I turn my blinker on over here or even just start turning the wheel, it illuminates that area so well. And then if I go to the right, it's going to illuminate that too. The best cornering lights I think I've seen. Crescendoed high beam once we get up to a certain speed. Just phenomenal. You're going to absolutely love these headlights i mean the interior lighting is enough but the headlights are fantastic as well what do you think what color would you go with in here i would love to know but i absolutely love spending time in here if you can't tell 
But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got an idea of what it's like to drive the S-Class at night. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Hope you did. And have a great day.